Hi, I'm Devin Martin, and I'm here with my fiance, Katie Ostner. Today is Sunday, March 29th, and Devin and I were supposed to be sharing our testimonies with our church family at the First Congregational Church here in Torrington, Wyoming. However, because of the coronavirus and some of the precautions that are being taken, we're not gathering as a group at our church today, uh, but we still wanted to be able to share our testimony and our reasons for wanting to join the First Congregational Church uh, with you today. I think God works in mysterious ways, and I'm excited that we're able to bring this to you virtually because now it will be more shareable. We won't just have the opportunity to share our testimonies with our church family, but also with our friends and family that are spread far and wide. Um, and hopefully us sharing um, will just be able to uplift other Christians and also um, show those that maybe don't believe in God um, just the ways that God has blessed us in our lives. So I'm going to share my testimony first and then Devin will follow. But before I delve into it, just a little bit more background information about me. I grew up here in Torrington, Wyoming. I was born and raised on a ranch and we've always had a very tight-knit family and my family's always been really involved in this community. So I'm blessed that I've been able to move back here and uh, get involved in a church family here in Torrington. Um, I've always had a love for cattle. I grew up showing cattle and was involved in 4-H and FFA and in livestock judging in college. And uh, now I've been blessed with a great career opportunity to where I actually travel all around the country working with beef cattle producers and helping them market their calves. So it's a really fun job. Um, and I'm able to also live here in Torrington as part of that. But to kind of start at the beginning of my testimony, I'm one of those fortunate people who really don't remember a time in my life when I didn't know God. Uh, my parents were strong Christians and made sure that I grew up in the church. I was baptized in the church that I grew up in. Um, and back when I can start having memories, I remember my mom was a Sunday school teacher and my brother and I were on Sunday school and at church every week, barring a blizzard or a serious illness. Um, we were just always in church. That was what was expected, not only from my immediate family, but also my extended family. It was just a part of who we were was that we attended church and we believed in God. Um, so I know now that I'm really blessed that I was raised that way because not everybody is. Um, so, I mean, basically all the way throughout high school, I attended the same church and um, went to that church very regularly. So when I started going to college, that was when I really had more of a personal decision to make is would I continue to go in the way that my parents raised me or not attend church. Um, but that was really a time of growth for me because that's when I started to really own my relationship with God. Um, but as we all know, going away from home into college is also a time when there are more temptations. And so um, that was definitely a time when there would be times that I would fall further away from God than I wanted to be. And I remember uh, there was a time in college, it was a Sunday after I had attended church, and I just got real with God. And I said, God, I'm not as close to you as I want to be right now in my life. And I want you to draw me in again. And even though I I have always believed in God and known that he was there. There have certainly been times when I've fallen away from him and haven't made the initiative to be as close to him as I should be. So I think all of us as Christians go through times like that. And even if you say, well, I've always been a Christian, there are certainly times when you can um, kind of re-up your relationship with God and renew that relationship. But I was very fortunate when I was in college uh, in Lincoln, Nebraska, going to the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, that I became involved in a, a great church called Christ Place. And that church really strengthened my relationship with God. I got involved in children's ministry and in a connect group, which other people might know as a Bible study, and, and just learned a lot, um, had a lot of good studies and devotionals that we went through as a church and within my connect group. Um, that taught me a lot about God and strengthened my relationship so that, um, you know, when I finished college, I think my relationship with, with God was really strong and uh, my prayer life was um, still in the works, but it gets stronger all the time. And so I think that's 
some of these Christians, and I remember um, the pastor that I had when I was in Lincoln said um, that if you're not going forward in your relationship with God, then you're moving backward. There is no neutral as a Christian. You have to be really pushing yourself um, and trying to grow your relationship with God. Otherwise, you're actually uh, moving backward in that relationship. So that's something that comes to mind for me often. Um, as I know that I need to um, be really intentional about studying the word and in my prayer life. Um, so that kind of brings us to now. I first started attending the first congregational church um, throughout college. My parents started attending in 2013. So whenever I would come home and during holidays and whatnot, we would be going to the first congregational church. So I started to meet the members of the church and become familiar with it. So when I moved home in 2016 and started my career and um, was in Torrington full time, I, you know, made that my home church and I attended there as regularly as I could. I do travel a lot, so I've actually been doing the virtual church services for a while. When I'm on the road, I just try to um, fall back on some way to get the word. And uh, I... I'm really excited to become a member of the church because I think that this church provides a true sense of community and a church family. Um, you feel so welcome every time that you walk into the church, um, not just because of Pastor Matt, who is always there with open arms, um, but because the members of the church are, are really just like a family. And um, ever since Devin and I's relationship started, they've been very supportive of our relationship and uh, we are getting married in May. And so that is part of the reason we'd like to become members now is because when we get married, we want to just be able to fully know that we have a church family behind us. Um, we, we love this church and we also believe in the statement of faith um, that's presented by the church and think that that represents our view of God as well. Um, so that is um, kind of the reasons my background and why I want to become a member of this church. And so now I'll let Devin share his testimony. Um, thinking, thinking back to my pre-salvation history, um, I grew up in a home where God wasn't always first. Uh, I had a very good aunt and uncle who put God first in my life like um, he should have been. I had a very good pastor when I was younger growing up in Kentucky, um, Brother Bobby Russell. He spent a lot of time with our youth group, um, made us all feel more connected to God. And, and I remember one Sunday afternoon during our youth service on a Sunday afternoon, there was a prayer in the front of the pamphlet um, from the lessons that we were going through each and every week. And, and I read that prayer to myself on that Sunday afternoon and knew that something was pulling me towards God um, later that week, actually working raking hay in the field that later that week um, I asked Jesus to come into my heart and I knew from that point on that, that he was there and, and I could always depend on him um, and as, as time went on as we got older I become rebellious like some teenagers do and and I found myself often in a dark time um, in a dark place pulling further and further away from God but I always knew that in the back of my heart that, that he was there and I never, never lost faith. Um, in 2013, I had a battle with cancer and really went to my lowest point. And um, there I realized that grace never left me, that, that God was always there with me. And, um, and you know, at times I become angry with not God but with church for the political pieces of it and and found myself drifting further away but like, like I said I always knew that that God was in my heart and um, I moved here at the beginning of last year and started going to this church with with Katie and, and her family and ever since then I've, I've felt closer um, that my relationship is becoming closer all the time um, I love this church family and I'm, I'm excited to join it. Um, yeah, it, it's been a, been a great, great experience, um, with the church that we have now. And it's always great to go back home, um, to the little church and spend time there with my family too. Um, 
hope these stories help you. I hope our testimonies find you well. Um, we encourage you to share your Jesus story with other people too. Um, All right, I guess that's it. Have a good Sunday, everybody. Thanks, guys.